Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to World of Braiding and Extensions. My name is Joy Fido and I have amazing ideas for you today. Something really unique and um, I felt why not share it with my friends. So welcome on board. So the great idea I have for you is a hairstyle and this hairstyle is getting a lot more and more popular right now. It's called the Four Locks. We're used to it, we've seen celebrities wear it, but people are very curious about how it's done. Now the interesting thing about Four Locks is you can do it with so many things. It doesn't have to be the one thing. And so today is just one of the ways we do it. Um, recently we did a short Instagram post of it and inquiries kept coming we want to really see how you did it well how did you start how did you finish so that's how we decided to bring this video to you so um i said just keep your eyes peeled to see the result okay so the material we need is a regular pack of synthetic hair nothing too long but that would depend on the length of the hair you want to have now the reason I'm saying this, I saw a picture of what Rihanna had with this style of hair and hers was really long. Then you'll be looking at hairs like expression, which we've used a lot on this channel. Um, but this is the basic hair we're using, just a regular basic hair, nothing fancy. So that's what it is. Now that goes inside your locks. Then the next thing we're looking at is the Brazilian wool this to me is the main thing for this particular hairstyle we're going to do because if you use this you can use anything to do your wrapping or what we used to call um, um there's this hair we used to do in the past i remember the name but anyway threading so any hair can do your threading even that can do your threading but for this particular style today we're going to be using this and this is how they come they come in bundles and once you stretch them out this is what you get which again we've shown you several times how this is done um, on this channel which you can do with wool as well wool is exactly like this when you release them but for the sake of let's say this is your first time of seeing this channel we'll just do one to show you how this is achieved so it comes from this to this and then this is what's going to go under so let's get cracking okay so um you cannot have a hairstyle without a model so we're lucky to have our gorgeous gorgeous model mega you've seen mega several times on this channel that's her natural hair and we're trying to lock this all up into our full locks it's a beautiful hairstyle and she's excited about it okay so remember the hair that we're going to work with what you do you just kind of like Pull it a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Why do we need this? Because we want the ends of our locks to be narrow. You don't want it to finish so bluntly. If it finishes very bluntly, it becomes difficult for you to style it. So this is what this does. It gives us like a narrow finish. And I'll probably explain this a bit better when I start the strands of hair so you see what that means. Okay, so after you're pulling, you have to brush the hair so it stretches out. You can see what that's also given it is a longer length as well. But this is what we're aiming to have, the really thinness at the tips. Okay, so you can see what I've done. You just get your sectioning, your regular braiding sectioning, and then you insert your braids in. So that's my first line, I'm on my second line and I've inserted all that in. Um, trick here is once you know how to braid, this part is easy, just braid, that's what it is. So you put the hair in, which um, by the time you're interested in this, you already know how to braid. Otherwise, I will show you our home training pack which takes care of all of that. So insert your braid in and you don't braid for long. You just braid a little bit. 
so you can see what I've done it's a bit like what we used to call pick and drop um, but naturally this is going a lot longer than pick and drop the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to leave it till I finish the braiding part so I don't want the hair unraveling in the process so that's how I've gone a bit longer otherwise pick and drop about there you should stop but once you stop the next stage is when we start the a stringing of the four locks so that's one in or a few strands in and I'll just get this in and you do that for your whole head so your sectioning you just like your braids sections don't change your sectioning you can be creative I mean people get really creative squares I mean this is squares arches diamonds stars you can you can be as creative as you want to be but at this stage that you're starting just go with your regular square sections but um what i was just saying earlier our home training pack is available for anyone who wants to go into braiding And this is it. It's a professional certification in extensions and natural hair business masterclass. So this tells you everything you need to know in braids, weaves and extensions. Um, this pack is just the way you receive it when you order yours. Oh, I'll try and take this out and show you at another stage. But this got, oh, I've got scissors here. So this is how you're going to receive it. Come straight to you, all nicely sealed. My hands got oil in it, so it's struggling to deal with this. It comes fully sealed like this for you. It's got 30 DVDs in this pack. So I'm going to seal this back once I finish showing you this. So 30 DVDs, you can see them wavy invisible braids pick and drop what we just talked about micro braids afro kinky two strand twist pineapple style caucasian box braids loose box braids this one got over how many million views when we did did it first synthetic hair preparing the hair ready for braiding introduction to hair braiding which has four dvds or four four styles in this one and it carries on for 30 different dvds then you look at the business itself when to how to turn your skill into a business understand hair extensions in different types of hair. so this is all here is ready for you you're ready to go into this business there's so much you can do with this skill so much and what we're doing now is only just one thing out of this whole pack so this is what you should be looking at if this happens to be your thing this was my thing over 15 years ago and I've made so much out of it so we try to encourage you to work from home which is learn these things from home you don't have to come to me because if you came to me that's a lot of investment where to stay um, for how long well you can have all of that sitting in the comfort of your home and doing it at your own pace so that's something worth thinking about now we're going to carry on with this create more sections which i'll show you once we're done and then you see how this progresses all right so we're nearly done now you can see all the hair in all the sections so now we have just two strands left so just to show you how we're carrying on and finishing this off. Put your braids in, your extensions in. Now the extensions is to give you length to whatever length you want. That's why we need extensions for this hair. Because um, if you didn't put extension, then that becomes what we call threading. And remember what we said earlier, any extension can do this. It will depend on what you're trying to achieve. So this stage is just like your pick and drop. 
So just braid a little and drop. And that's it. And for as long as you can braid hair, you can do this. So we'll get our extension again. We'll finish the last strand now. And remember, it's just any type of extension will do this. You don't need anything fancy. Because it's just going to be inside the, the locks. But please, when you get in the hair, let it be hair that will actually burn when you try to seal the tips. And color doesn't matter as well um, for the one going underneath because you're going to wrap it over with this hair that you want. So the last one we did was in blonde, so this is going to be black because she goes to school and the school is for silver colors. But you can use any color you like. Um, I'll show you some different colors. Remember we have this hair for sale as well, this Brazilian wool. So if you do need it, you know what to do, contact us. And that's it. So it's all gone in and now we're going to be ready to start. Yeah, so I created that design so you can have it more on this side like that. Yeah. And then that's it, it's all in. So now is a wrapping stage. Um, but just a quick one. If you like my wig, which we do quite a lot of this wig here. This is a navy blue color, one of my favorite ones. We do have different ones on sale. Um, thanks to all the people who bought in the past, but this hair is still here. Is one of our favorite things. You know how I love wigs, and for me, braided wigs is just one of the best things ever. What are wigs for? Purely for protection, protecting your hair from different things, different elements of the weather. So, just letting you know about it. I, we still have them in different colors. Um, I'll probably show you some of the colors before we finish this video. Okay, so now we want to start this hair so you see how we we actually create it ready for braiding. Um, remember they come like that. So when they come like that, you actually pull them out. And sorry, and that's what's created this. So I'm going to prepare two at a time, but you could prepare any how many you like at a time. So that's it. And I will use this chair as where I do the work. So you decide how long you want to make it. Now remember you don't want it too long because if it's too long it will be you know getting tangled in your hand. So just put enough to hold it and then you just keep wrapping it. This is exactly the same thing you do with the yarn wool. Just the same way of preparing it. So anywhere you see space, just take it and it's just about rolling it. And that's it so it's already been taken out and so now I'm going to cut that so now you have your length now you're ready to braid with it we are now starting to insert our full locks or create the full locks. 
So the four locks is a few strands of hair, I mean, a few strands of the extension, which we had shown you earlier, the Brazilian wool. And this is where I explained that this is just like treading. So now you tread or wrap this round the strand of the braids. And if you watch nicely, you can see how here it's kind of like twisting a little bit. That's because of the braided part. But when it gets to this part that's not braided, you see how it smoothens out better. And this is why the pick and drop effect is a better way you don't allow the braid to carry on for too long see that that smoothing out better now and this is the hard part the braiding wasn't much of it compared to the amount of work involved and look at the length that we're going with so we're going to thread this all the way to the end of this strand of hair and so the length makes a bit difference the amount of work involved. So probably what you may ask is how many strands of the Brazilian wool did I use? Um, it would depend on you, but I kind of like not using too much so that the hair can be free. So in this case, I'm using five strands. Um, I've used six sometimes and I've used long um, more as well but what you find is if you use too much they tend to um, kind of like lump on each other they sit on each other and that's not what you want you want it to come up smoothly Remember when we mentioned that um, you could use different things to create this part? Yes, if you were using the kinky hair, which we'll do another time to show you, the effect is slightly different as well. And I've also used the kinky hair as the base as well sometimes. When I say base, is the braided part. Because when you do that, it makes the hair have a really rough look around it and there are people who like that so they don't like it being too smooth so when it sits on bunches on each other people some people like it that way too so when you add in more thread you kind of leave a little bit inside so it goes in and then you wrap so you see them blend into the braided part that you had put in there So this, this is why most times when I have to have a client do this, it's a lot of money I have to charge because there's a lot of time involved with this. And why is that? It's kind of like double work. So first you braid the hair in, then you start to wrap over it. It's very, very time consuming. And the longer the length, the more work you do. So most times when, when people quote a price on braids and you get the ones who want to argue, they don't understand the amount of pressure that goes on your body to stand and do this. It's fun if you're a creative person like me who enjoys... Um, for me, the joy of doing this is just seeing my finished work. I really love to see my client look amazing when I'm done. But the money part, people just love to argue unnecessarily. It's, there's no, there's no point for it. If you want good image, you put good money into it. 
It's just like everything else in life. Quality counts. So, that's our young model. <laughs> Are you liking this, Meg? I like it. Really long length. <laughs> you better get used to this. So now, I've got to the end of the strand and then I just wrap it. I wrap the strand of hair. Oh. No, my friends are not seeing this as well, my Facebook friends. See if you can shift it away to the, towards the back for me. Yes, keep going. Yeah, so this is it. And then we just take two strands and wrap over it. Now, why am I doing this? Is just to hold it from unraveling for now. That's it. Wow, that's really long, babes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so remember we've finished braiding the hair in and now we've started our four locks process. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And of course, it's so long, <laughs> which we're enjoying. Remember what happened? We kind of like pulled the hair to get the tips to be really thin. And that's what gave us this longer length. So you can you can get go shorter if you wanted. Go to any length you like. It's fine. Whatever length you go for is fine. And um, and remember the hair that goes underneath as well. It doesn't have to be this hair. We just chose this ordinary, basic, synthetic hair for braiding. So now we're ready to, to lock. I want you to see the process. So we're going with five strands. Five strands of, of the hair, of the wool. So five strands and then you see the bit of a gap that I'm giving it. So this gap is going to be inserted back into the braid. So this is how it goes. Into your hand for the braiding into your hand and then you hold it down and then you start to wrap so remember what we did which was like a bit of pick and drop we braided before we dropped if you allow your braiding to continue um, the hair gets really kind of like bumpy it's not smooth so what I do is once I've got my my strings of um, Brazilian wool wrapped for a few parts of it, then I release the braids and then I start my four locks process, which is the treading skill. So I love to just say treading because this is how treading is done. But the difference between treading and this is adding the extensions, which is the braided extensions in. And the one thing I really love about the Brazilian wool is it's got a matte look without being very matte. Because I think this is what people were looking for with the regular wool. Um, what did that lady call the wool again? Yarn. Yarn. Yarn, yarn wool. So yarn has this really matte color and that's what people wanted in yarn. But what Brazilian wool does is it has both matte look as well as very easy to work with, very smooth. So it's not silky because you could have also done this with this. But when you do, that becomes too silky. So it's not silky and it's not shiny. So it just, it just um, encompasses everything. I think I didn't show you how I added the extra string, but I'll show you when the next time comes. So you're kind of like pushing everything in and you're just wrapping. Now you could also have used Afro Kinky to do this part. People who do that want a very rough looking, like a, a rough, look type we were just watching the images on google so if you type in four locks and you say images you see so many different looks 
and one of them was the one Rihanna was wearing and it looked really rough so there are people who who like the really rough look and there are people who like the really smooth look um, Zendaya was wearing one of it as well and hers was I think in between smooth and rough it wasn't really rough so it will depend on what you are looking for so once you know how to do this this is one of the hairstyles that I think you have to charge good money for it because it's very time consuming and I'm saying this to those people who have no appreciation of who they are who stand behind people for hours and want to charge peanuts for it I don't encourage that because it's about your body it's about what you could have done with your time so this is like double work first is the braided part and then the threading or the stringing whatever you want to call it so you are being your time is being used to create this so don't go charging little money for it charge money to cover your time and your skill because it may look easy with what I'm doing I've had students in class struggle with this as well because um, you see how my hand is holding this and wrapping it around and wrapping it around so each time I wrap that finger has to hold that thing from falling back so if I don't know what I'm doing I'll go like that see it comes right back so you don't want that you want to get it really right that finger holds it and it stays in place see that and that's how you're able to do it so it's it's um it requires a bit of skill to get this right so if you are able to do this from this please charge good money for it it's your skill and we showed you earlier the DVD packs. All the skills are in that DVD pack. Learn it, learn it, make money. That's what we encourage you to do. It's all in your hands. Put the skill in your hand and make money from it. So that's, oh, I forgot to show you again how I did. I'll show you next trend. So you check to see how it's going. If you find the new one is too short, and you want to add it add more make it meet up with the ones you've done before you can add more otherwise you can stop at any stage and let it have like a layered look effect so you remember what we're looking for we're looking for this strands that are really that are really really thin at the tips because we're going to burn it and we want her to be able to style it easily so at the tips, I take two strands and I wrap around it and I knot it. Again, this is temporary because when we finish, we're going to burn it. So you see that all of this will go and then it will be this nice tip that she can play with. So that's our work looking really pretty now. On styling, there's so much choices. See that? So if you went online, that's what I always say to my client: just go online and see how different people are styling theirs, and join them. But that's how it's done. So we're gonna carry on and finish the rest, and of course you're gonna see the finished look. Hey guys you know i did say i was going to talk a bit more about this beautiful wig that i'm wearing which you've seen me wearing from time to time and we've done a little video about it as well but look at this color navy blue mm, gorgeous now we have so much of this wig in store this is how they come this is the band someone actually came yesterday and said do you have a band in it yes there's a band in it and this is that natural lace that you see that you cut off when you ordered it and look at that this is how beautiful these wigs are please please you love what you see on my head which is so beautiful just go in the bio and ask us for how much and details now this is a purple color i have one of these as well 
this is so gorgeous and imagine the time spent creating this so definitely go for this order yours order yours order yours this is another color as well this is a mixture of color 30 and color 4 and again the band in it they suit every person i don't know anyone who's won this that didn't really like it they're beautiful um we have a blonde color as well i'll show you that blonde yes if you can bring it for me so there's so many colors that you can play with and you can what i really love about wig which over the time you watch our channel you see me with different wigs is band look at that it is so protective it, it, it takes care of your hair covers it saves it for whenever you feel like showing off your hair which from time to time i show off my hair because lots of people tend generally to say oh but you talk about natural hair how come you wear wig for me wig is just a feature of styling it's fashion i call it wig fashion fashion that you can change anytime you like so there's not you're not committed to this is the one look i'm gonna have you can have any number of looks you want even within a day you could have curly hair now straight hair the next minute braided hair next and so it gives you the versatility to be who you want to be when you want to be so that's why i love wig you don't have to damage your hair because you want to do something with your hair i get people who color their hair crazy colors and two days later our hair is all damaged why because you colored it but with a wig you can wear any color you like look at me in blue my hair is nowhere near blue and if i were to try and do this with my hair can you imagine what damage i'll be causing so this is why i encourage people to yes give it a go just like you wear wristwatch you wear shoe you change your perfume anything you want to do with your look you can do it with wigs so braided wigs are here go into the bar just go there you see all our details email us and we will let you know whatever you want to do with them of course we have it on our website as well they're all there so just click there and go and order yours so enough with the wigs let's carry on what we're doing okay so you can see how far we've gone with our work oh this is looking so pretty i'm so so proud of it and then um we just thought we should show you one more strand being done so you get used to this before we show you the finishing so again the string of hair in your hands so you hold it in and then you start wrapping but please feel free to ask questions because we are quite happy to support you on this one we want you to make money with this which is what we always want to do on our channel helping people achieve okay so you notice what i'm doing i'm just taking out the braided part because if i do too much braiding of it what happens is the way it looks when i'm stringing or locking it stays a bit um it doesn't come out smoothly it kind of wraps in a very rough form so if you allow the hair to be smooth then your locks will be smooth as well so now you see the difference between the part that i had the braids on the part that i'm wrapping now lots of people kind of think that locking this hair is about braiding the whole strand of braid and then start to lock no if you do that your lock won't look that nice so um and what i did say earlier too is just the so this is all the natural hair that i'm kind of like pulling in pushing in is the is the little technicalities of knowing how to hold the string in place when you wrap it around so watch you go like that and see that finger holds the hair holds the extension for you it just goes right there this 
fingers blocking it dropping back and that's the technicality involved because if you didn't do that um, it will fall right back on you and you won't be able to do anything so when you start trying it on your own just try and push your finger up and let it block it from going backwards but like I said when we started everything here is in the DVD pack Everything here is in the DVD pack it shows you every step just order yours and watch your finger achieve great things so now I'm gonna add the new string I kept forgetting to show you last time so it goes straight into your hand again how we started so it's in there part of the extension and then you continue wrapping but when you're wrapping this time make sure you go slightly over the last part that you wrapped so there's no gap between the new extension coming in and the one before. So always remember to go slightly over the previous one before you go forward. So it's like going backwards a bit and coming forward. That's what it is. That's the only difference. And as you string it, try and make it firmly in place. Um, I know some people who don't think they should make it firm because they think it makes it, you know, flexible. What happens is they can unravel on you if they don't if they don't sit firmly. Um, if you're working with another type of extension, that will work, and that's usually when you're using Afro kinky type of hair, but not when you're doing this type. So you just keep going and remember the, lo the longer the work comes from this the length of your braided part so the amount of um extend the length of the extension you put in when you were braiding is what's going to create the length of your work so if your extension is short then you finish this part really quickly as well so this is why when you're consulting with your clients um, I'm hoping I'm talking to people who want to do this as part of their business you find out how long they want this hair and this is usually the case with every hairstyle as well um, over time you have to learn to make sure your clients and you are understanding what they want because you hear people all the time saying then there was argument and then the client didn't like this and all that you could cut that out if you understand the process of consultation with your clients and this is all part of what this dvd home training brings as well we've been able to put together all my years of experience in this into a dvd form how many dvds are those i think they are like four or five five four dvds four it's about four dvds that's focusing on the the business side where we also have two talking about hair extensions so 21 skills two hair extensions and then six seven okay seven dvds um my colleague was giving me the numbers so seven dvds that actually is all about business turning it around so what should i'm doing i'm measuring it to see what this length is and you just compare with the one before and what i said was you have a choice to say okay i want to layer the look or i want them to be all next to each other so you take two strands you wrap it and you knot it so that it doesn't unravel on you and this is temporary because when we finish we're gonna bond the tips and we will show you how that happens but that's it it's all coming together and that's our beautiful full locks
finished and we just dip it in water to help soften it a little bit now remember this hair is really long so we're not going to get much of it inside the water so we're going to take the water up the strand but when you dip it in water it softens it from the really stiff feel it had So take the towel in the hot water and so the next thing that could happen whenever you're taking your shower in the morning, this steam normally in your shower helps to also soften it. So with time it softens really well. Okay, remember when we burn when we burnt it, you cannot burn it if it's wet because then the water water will stop the burning process from happening. So you can only dip it after you burnt it. If that was something you were wondering. So remember this is not like regular expression where you have to dip in water to seal it. The sealing has to happen by you burning it. And the reason we're dipping it is so that it softens the feel of it. Because since it's um, synthetic hair, you just help the heat kind of like melts it. That's the feel you get when you're working with other synthetic hairs. But this will not seal on its own with hot, just hot water. It just helps to lighten it a bit and to take away the stiffness from it. So that's why we're using hot water to soften it. So now you can feel it's responding. Okay, so we'll finish what we're doing and the beauty of this hair is Whatever you decide to do with it, it will respond to it. Look at that, I'm just kind of like twisting it, but not much of a twist. Now, now that it's still very new, Mega can't do much with it. But as it gets older, she can play around with it. There's so much we can do with it. Um, we can twist individual strands now i'm just playing with a bunch see that and i chose just taking it to one side which you can do as well you can take it all to the back see that mm -hmm. And then she can do updos with it, which we can do now because it's still very fresh. So, look at that. So let me take away the white and see what it looks like on the red. Yeah. So you can afford to be as creative as you want to be with this hair. You remember what I said when we started, you could just go online and see how different people are. Oh, I like that. How different people are being creative with their forelocks. You can introduce that into your style as well. If you can straighten your hair a bit like that, yeah. So look at that. That's our finished look. And we just played with that just now. And that's the back. And the sides. So let me move this so you don't keep the water down. And that's it. 
So what do you think? Now we are, what do you think, Naga? Like I love it? it? Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yay. So that's our finished look and our model is quite happy. So we hope you want to do this, try this. You saw the whole process from putting the braids in and then um, we showed you the Brazilian wool. Now I know lots of people are going to be asking me how many packs of hair did you use and how many packs of wool did you use? We used I think seven packs of the of the braided um, yeah. hair extension. So we use about seven packs. Remember they're just the basic one. Mm -hmm. It's not long length. We didn't cut it. We just used the full length. That's why it's that long. And then we pulled it a little bit. Then we also used, we yeah. used four packs yeah. of the Brazilian wool. That was really amazing. I know uh, most times when I do this hair, I don't use that much, but I don't usually take note of it. So today we decided we'll take note because obviously it's a video. But look at the length of this hair and the amount of hair we've put in here. But we only ended up using four packs of Brazilian wool. So that's really, really good, good usage. It didn't, we didn't have to take too much of that. So that's our hair for you. And I really would like to see you do this and send us pictures. But of course, if you have any questions, just you know what to do. Just send the questions in. I will respond to you. And thank you so much for watching this and being part of it. Um, Again, follow us on Instagram because then we, we put little clips of images and things that we're working on there. Follow us on Facebook. We do quite a bit there as well. And of course, um, like it. Give you a thumbs up if you do like it. Um, give us beautiful comments like you always do because then that encourages us to do more. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. But thank you so much for being there for us. We, we absolutely, absolutely love all of you who support us because we came live and so many people were on already and we've been away for quite a long time so we know that you are still there waiting so we, we plan on bringing you more and more videos as time comes thank you again and see you in the next video